Hey guys, welcome back to Food Inventory Adventures in Food. My name is Andrea, and I am here today to show you a quick and easy recipe for making chocolate chip cookies with Bisquick Baking Mix. And this is especially great if you don't have any flour in the house at all. So let me show you what you're gonna need. You're going to need two and three quarters cups of the baking mix. You're going to need a cup of chocolate chips, a cup of packed brown sugar, one egg at room temperature, a teaspoon of vanilla, and a stick of unsalted softened butter. So if you wanna see how these come together, stay tuned. Hey guys, so let's whip up these super easy chocolate chip cookies. So you're going to put in your stick of softened butter and you probably hear my baby in the background. So I have my stick of softened butter and I'm going to add in my cup of packed brown sugar. And then I am going to add in my egg that is at room temperature. Now I, I know that some people just crack the egg in the bowl. My great grandmother used to be a wonderful baker. People used to buy her cakes and pies all the time. And she always told me to crack my egg separately in case you get a dirty egg. So what she called a dirty egg was a fertilized egg. So that's something that I always do. I always crack my eggs separately. I never crack them in my baking bowl. So I'm gonna cream all of this together. There's a couple of pieces of brown sugar. Let me try to mash it up a little bit. And here it is, nice and creamed together. And now I'm going to add my baking mix a little bit at a time. I'm gonna add it in. Then I'm gonna mix it up and so forth. Oh, you know what guys? I forgot to add in my vanilla. Whoops, I was supposed to add in my vanilla when I creamed my sugar and butter and egg and I totally forgot. So I just dropped it in now. Let me try to mix it up real quick. Here is the cookie dough, and as you can see, it's kind of crumbly. And that's the way it's supposed to be. And then I'm just gonna add in my one cup of chocolate chips, and I'm just gonna stir it around. And if you wanna get in with there with your hands, that's perfectly fine too. All right guys, so I have my dough all incorporated. I did use my hands a little bit as you can see. And you're just gonna drop your cookie dough by a couple of tablespoons on a cookie sheet. You can use a spoon or you can use your hands. I just find it easier to use, just use your hands sometimes. And I do have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. All right, so I am going to pop these in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes or until they are golden brown and I'll show you what they look like. Okay guys, so this is my first batch of cookies 
and as you can see they didn't really spread a whole lot um, however you put them in the pan to bake them is how they're going to turn out so it's kind of like a shortbread texture so um, this is more like a drop cookie and Howard has one that he kind of split open so here it is in the middle as you can see it's pretty thick and Howard is not a big chocolate chip cookie person. No, I'm not. And he said he actually liked the yeah, they're likes good. Things. Yeah. So they're kind of like a, a cake texture. Let me pull out a little bit. They're kind of like a cake texture. And then here is the second pan of chocolate chip cookies that I put in the oven. These I kind of pressed down a little bit with the palm of my hand, pressed them down. And um, I prefer these because I prefer a crunchier cookie. Now these are still soft, don't get me wrong, uh, but they're a little bit more crunchier than these um, drop ones. So here Howard has the cookies that I kind of pressed out. Let me pull back a little bit so you can see the texture. And again, same kind of texture. It's more like a shortbread type texture. So it really depends on your preference. If you want a drop cookie or if you want a cookie that's a little bit more pressed out. Like I said, however you put them in the oven, that's exactly what they're gonna look like when you pull them out. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up and we will see you guys next time.